In this book of Les Parrott's High Maintenance Relationship, he identified 20 specific high maintenance relationship styles. He surveyed 100 people and they consistently indicated that out of these 20 styles, 15 kept showing up. And of the, of the 15, there were five that were mentioned as the most common problems in people's lives as being their most difficult and high maintenance relationships. So I'm going to ask you to number your paper from one to 15 again. And I'm going to share with you the 15 groups of high maintenance relationships. And I'm going, I'm going to give you a name for each of them. You can just jot the name down and I'll give you a little brief description of what they're like. And as I read them and you jot the name of the style down, um, I would like you to just make a note on your paper if anybody comes to your mind that falls into this style. Okay, so let's start with number one. Number one is the critic. The critic. These are the people who constantly complain and are always giving you unwanted, unsolicited advice about what you should do, what you should have done, how it should be. The critic. Number two is the martyr. The person who always acts like a victim. They're filled with self-pity and feelings of rejection. They're always looking to be rejected. You can say anything and they turn it into you've rejected them and their feelings are hurt. That's the martyr. Number three, the wet blanket. This is the person who's usually pessimistic all the time and automatically sees the negative in everything and everybody. The wet blanket. Number four, the steamroller. These folks are blindly insensitive to the needs and the emotions of others. They just plow over people. They're kind of abrasive. They don't really care. They don't see, they might be lacking discerning and emotional intelligence. That's the steamroller. Number five is the gossip. These are the people who spread rumors and share confidential information. Number six is the control freak. They just can't let things go or they can't let people be. They try to control situations and people. Number seven is the backstabber. These folks are two-faced and unable to be trusted. Number eight is the cold shoulder. These would be your passive aggressive folks who tend to carry a lot of, they're offended and bitter and they will just freeze you out or avoid you if they're upset with you. They don't talk to you. Number nine is the green eyed monster. These are the people who are filled with jealousy and envy and they suffer from FOMO a lot. And if for some reason you don't know what FOMO is, that's F-O-M-O -O, and it stands for fear of missing out. They wanna be part of everything and they're upset if they weren't invited to this or included in that. Jealousy and envy. Number 10 is the volcano. These are the ticking time bombs that explode with anger at other people. Number 11 is the sponge. These are the constantly needy, what we call the emotional blood suckers or vampires, 
who draw and pull from other people while giving nothing in return. They're just needy, needy, needy. And they're, they're like a golden retriever sitting in front of you. And I'm talking about the animal, not the temperament. A golden retriever sitting in front of you that's going, pat me, pat me, tell me you love me, look at me, pay attention to me. Number 12 is the competitor. These people like to be on top. They like to win. They're all of their focus on one upmanship. They keep track of tit for tat and who's on top and who owes me something and who's the next move is. I did this for you. Now it's your turn to reach out. I invited you out to lunch last time. So I'm waiting for you to invite me. These are the competitors. Number 13 is the workhorse. These are the people that are just pushing themselves all the time. Got to get things done. There's much to do. Let's get at it. Come on, folks. They push themselves and they push everybody and they're never satisfied because it's always on to the next thing, on to the next thing. Number 14 is the flirt. These are people who talk in suggestive innuendos. They make inappropriate comments bordering on harassment. And when you address them about their innuendo or suggestive comment, they'll say, what are you talking about? That's not what I meant. The flirt. And number 15 is the chameleon. The chameleon. These are the people pleasers who just want everybody to like them. They don't want any problems and they avoid conflict at all costs. Now, did you all get those or do I need to fill in any spots for anybody before I ask you the next step? What I'd like you to do is choose your top five high maintenance relationships or your most difficult relationships. Which of these 15, which five of these 15 are the most difficult for you to put up with and tolerate? And I would like you to, once you've picked those top five, rank order them from number one to five with one being the one that irritates you the most. So I'll give you a few minutes to do that. Well, when Dr. Parrott did the survey and he asked the people in the survey to rank order them from number one through five, these were the ones that came up. This is the order that came up from the top five in his survey. Very similar to what you folks have just put. The number one most common annoying style was the critic. Followed by the martyr then the wet blanket, the steamroller, and the gossip. Those are the top five in his research. Did any of you think of names when I was going through this? Were there names that popped into your mind? <laughs> these are the things, these are the prayer points you want to focus on and ask the Lord, you know, how you, we're going to learn how to respond to them, but What's God trying to do in you through this relationship? 